Hey, what is up everybody? Blades for here and today for you guys another video of Persona 5X. Inside of this video, guys, we're gonna be going ahead and talking about the top thing, top 10 things you guys can do here to pretty much make it way easier um, in getting past in the story or anything you really need help with if you do feel stuck. Now, I will have to say some things here. Depending on, of course, your luck, of course, will depend on certain things that you can do. But also, if you do have all the four stars, it will make things a lot easier as well to end up coming out with the teams. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get straight into it. Now, as you guys can see, I am in the current second palace here. And the main reason that I thought about doing this goddamn video was because of this goddamn fight. So once you get to a stage around here, if you do make it here, um, in which, yes, I am free to play. If you do make it over here, there's going to be a boss right here in which there's going to be times where you come to get stuck. Well, going over that process, I thought, hey, there's some things that these people need to know, of course, when it does come down to at least a getting past this. So number one here, one of the few things that you want to do, especially if you feel like you're getting to that stuck point here, is definitely to keep retrying. Now, I know it may sound redundant. It may sound like something that, hey, bro, no brainer. We already know that. But the reason I'm, at, I'm saying this, of course, is we try different unit combinations here. Now, the reason I say this is because just for this fight, let alone, you're going to need to go through a lot of units yourself here and just basically sit down, figure out the combination you want to go with and try and make it work. Um, depending on who you do have will help you out quite a lot here. Sometimes you may need, of course, a navigator that helps on attack. Other times you may need a navigator that comes on defense here. All of these things will come into play and which will come out to if you can even combine and end up making this team work. Now, for example, I had at least this team here with my two healers here and just two solo DPSs for the most part. So depending on what you're doing here could really make a difference in your gameplay. So although it does sound redundant, sounds like something that you've probably already tried, of course, don't give up on that and keep going ahead and trying and using different either personas that you need to do with Wonder. For example, I was using a persona combination of this to either have our defense lower um, with at least having, um, what is it called? I think it was this first move here. Yes, uh, having the one that actually takes down the defense here. And then of course, we have our other person who's really good at at least giving us um, defense buffs immediately here, as well as having our blessed buffs here. And then, of course, we have our nuker with having a little bit of uh, HP on it as well to keep our team together. So having different unit combinations and persona combinations will be one of those things that can feel you or at least help you not get as stuck. Now, one of the other things that you possibly could do, let's say you're stuck on something inside of a, uh, I want to say a, not a boss battle, but inside like one of the instances here, right? So if we take that into account and let's actually, yeah, let's let's leave this here real quick so we can actually show you this. Oh, Blade, I'm stuck on this instance. I can't beat it here. I'm not able to progress and get better stuff for my characters or either I'm this level, but I can't get past this stage, of course, um, to get better um, achievement things for my characters. Well, no diff about that. Of course, it's perfectly fine that if you get to that point here, because what you want to go ahead and do Let's say you're wanting to do this here. Go ahead and ready up. But one of the main things that you're really going to take use of is this friendship bar. Now, you find that little icon whenever you are trying to ready up or something big that you're about to fight here. And it's going to be this little icon here. Take advantage of this icon and try to find whoever's strongest. For example, I'm usually missing a debuffer and I really do need a really good debuffer. So I sometimes would take load as a character here and make use of this character. Now, of course, you can use this anytime you do need to use it, of course, and this just goes for anything you need it for. So you can use your cracked out characters, of course, if you want to use this here. And so let's, for example, use our Joker. But, oh, I need help with actually having that debuffer again. I'm going to grab Lotus character and then boom, I can go by my way and do what I need to do. Make use of this friendship system. It really does come in handy whether you need to just do basic grinding or not. This is probably going to be one of the few things that you guys truly do want to try to look at and make use of for the most part. Now, going into our third um, thing that you guys want to go ahead and do here is something I kind of explained uh, on the first one as well, and which is the unit combination slash uh, persona changes. Now, personas can be a huge difference, right? No matter what you're doing, personas are always going to be that one thing that can help you out. So let's say, um, 
character versus something that requires a new for example like a new character right um although you do have your base tier personas here with these different elements here whenever you do get a fully knockdown or at least an all-out attack here or even just a baton pass that element will not be on those characters unless they are primarily that element so for example we have a nuke phoenix here but we don't have any other nuke related um or at least high tier nuke related uh personas here and that can utterly be a little bit of a problem it could be an issue and it can utterly make things not too fun to deal with especially when you have no choice but to go from here um this is something that you guys kind of want to heavily invest into and i would definitely suggest to have at least different options for persona changes to adapt to different things now let's say of course heck you may not need the knockdown you may not need the baton pass to actually get that weakness off but you want to use this um persona that can have multi-purposes here now that's also something that you guys want to go ahead and do with especially persona changes if you are feeling that stuck type of beat here is go ahead and take advantage over this here this is going to be the second tier icon in which by doing this you can use coins to try and inherit the following skills here so for example with at least my shiki here i actually ended up doing some things and making sure he had garu he also had some freja um type things here that he can use while also having his combat skills which is what he normally is with here this is something that's really nice at least to have on his side here because alongside of this as well he is able to just deal whatever we need him to deal while also being that little wild card having a persona like this in your release kit as your wild card is absolutely amazing especially when you are trying to adapt and trying to make sure you don't get as stuck as you are inside of certain fights so surely do make sure that you have those things ready now going into our number four here this is going to be also tying into a previous video which is going to be going about the activities slash confidants now currently i have no things here for activities i can't do anything when it comes down to that that's mainly just because i used all of mine here but your activities are really going to play a huge part in this and that's mainly because it's going to help you out with your confidants later um, doing this, of course, is going to help you unlock some of the things on your at least confidant wheel here, which can really be helpful when it comes down to either unlocking new personas, for example, with Rope, or either going ahead and just getting different little buffs to help out your overall, yes, I want to say gameplay in general. So, for example, um, if we go ahead and look at it right here, at level 5 for hers, when the battle ends with a total attack, the HP of all members will be restored at this, right? This is something that you only will unlock if you get her to five. Now, depending on the character, of course, will depend on exactly what you can unlock here, and it can make things even better. Um, as you can tell, as we slowly go about, we unlock different things. Some things are either going to be specifically for um, just as called mementos and different things like that, or palaces, while other things are just going to be quality of life type things that will help you out with their whole, I want to say, confidant levels. But this thing could actually help you out a lot, especially if you're feeling stuck and feel like you don't have much to do, mainly because you're getting that boost of something to do here and actually it can help out your overall gameplay. So surely don't at least throw that off to the side. I feel like this is something that a lot of people might mistake here and also choose your um, responses wisely to be sure to get the most out of your confidants. All right, now another thing to help you at least do better here, which is going to be upgrading gear. Now, I'm kind of lacking in the gear department here, especially when it does come down to uh, certain things here. Our weapon is 40 here on this piece. And I think, yeah, OK, that's as far as we can get it. Um, as for a lot of our other characters, we only have like level 30, right? We don't have pretty much too, too much on them. We're still working with um, what is it called? A purple weapon on him here, which is three star, uh, four star on him finally. But like we have some weapons, but they're not all too great, right? weapons and upgrading these guys are going to be your main point and which is actually going to tie into something here that you guys may not have noticed now let's say you need a four star weapon or you need a weapon that uh would be somewhat useful correct well all right let's go ahead and go over here and we're going to go take a look over here now if you've done velvet room whatsoever here um it's really going to help you out a lot especially if you're paying attention to what the velvet room gives you Go ahead and go to the tuning shop or at least the weapon shop here with a y um you're actually able to get you some decent things here so let's go ahead and press the shop button immediately 
And of course, if you've played Persona 5, you guys already know how this looks, right? It's definitely like something that's familiar to you. Well, with the first one, you're actually able to buy these three star weapons to get them more duped here. You're also able to get the two star weapons if you do need to dupe these guys out, would not invest into it because it does take a lot of money, but you're able to put the money that you used with the activities at least to use by being able to at least dupe them out here, and which is absolutely helpful. Another thing with doing this, of course, is if you do have these said little things here, which you get from watching different little cutscenes, you're able to actually exchange yourself a four star weapon as well, which can utterly help you out. And then, of course, if you have been doing the velvet room here, you can get these guys and eventually get yourself a five star weapon. Now, these are a little bit kind of unknown to figure out exactly where they do come from, but they still are available here, right? So it's kind of nice to know that the game itself does have these things implemented to at least show that they kind of care and they, they are really trying to make this seem like that persona esque and really help out free to play in the long run. Be sure to get these weapons to slowly upgrade your gameplay and it really does tie into that activity zone where you're able to at least invest into some of that activity points to get that gold or at least get the money in order to go buy more of those weapons to enhance your gameplay. So surely do think about that. Now, another thing here that is absolutely amazing that you guys can be doing, which is going to be our number six thing to do. But before we go ahead and say that, be sure to smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. It helps me out quite a lot, especially when we are making videos like these here. We're going to be pushing the 2.9K here, and hopefully we can hit 3K before the end of next month. That would be, I want to say, the hardcore goal, but it's going to be kind of hard to do. But, um, Next thing here, it would definitely benefit from Mementos. Now, Mementos itself is a crazy area. Just by doing it, you're going to get yourself a lot of materials here that normally would cost you some stamina. I would definitely advise you to go as far in Mementos as possible here and try to 100% it as far as possible here, because once you get stuck and there's nothing else to do, Mementos is your next best thing. You're getting as far as possible in there. You're going to slowly get yourself materials that normally you cannot get and get up your characters that way as well now of course once you get to the second palace and you unlock this version of mementos as well you can get yourself some artifact sets that are down here whether they are level three level two or even um level four which is going to be the purple guys as well each of these will help your gameplay and utterly help your characters become stronger so pushing mementos should be at the top of your list especially when you are stuck all right now we're going to our seventh type deal that you guys want to go ahead and focus on. Let's say I'm a little bit stuck, right? Ah, dang, I'm stuck again here. I don't got much to do immediately. I need me some more gems or I need me just some currency to do. Velvet room activities. Doing these are always going to be the best things that you can do here, especially when it does come down to at least these score battles. Main reason for it is because you're able to then get yourself some gems out of the picture here. And the further you go on as well with these other ones, you're actually able to get yourself some of the things that we do need in order to get up our man wonder. Now, I think we get these points as well that we're able to exchange for his weapon. And that is a heavy, I mean, a heavy change when it does come down to it. And I think you guys will really benefit from it, especially if you are actually paying attention to it a lot. This is definitely one of the things that I want to say, try to stay on top of, especially when if you want certain weapons and want to actually get up your characters and make sure you're not going to be stuck in this game. And I definitely would say you want to go ahead and do that. Now, originally I did have 10 things to go over, but some things are a little bit less obtainable for most people, especially when it does come down to um, being free to play. Um, so if you do get stuck in the free to play zone, that's kind of where we're going to end this video off here. The pay to wins, let's be honest here. You guys know exactly what you got to do at that point. And which is just that times two. But um, as for everything you got to do in the game, I would definitely say those are the top seven things that you want to do. We originally did have our 10, but your boy ain't feeling well as well. So uh, hopefully y'all can forgive me with that. And we have our top seven things that you guys can do. But until then, everybody, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, smash that like button. Until next time, everybody, peace out.